All right. Say hello to chat, everybody. Howdy. Hi. 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 All right, so we're going to do a 10-player strings pulling. Uh, it's TB with a marionette. I'm going to go and set up a game. Uh, you guys just uh, converse, and I'll be back in a moment. Bye. All right. Well, let's get this going. We're going to do a strings pulling, guys. TB plus marionette. We're going to have a 10-player. Well, let's go ahead and select our characters. Obviously, we're going to run with an imp. Um, I'm thinking that I want to do a poisoner with a marionette. So we'll do that. There are no outside. Actually, you know what? Hmm. No outsiders and no manipulation. Maybe I will put a Baron in instead. You know what? Let's do a Baron. I'm going to do a Baron with a Marionette. And then we'll go ahead and put in a Recluse. And we're going to put in a Saint. Yes, uh, it's Missing Pieces BGC uh, here on Twitch, if you guys want to follow mine and Jackie's channel. All right, so, uh, Townsfolk. Need five of them. Well, six, technically. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So, yeah, six Townsfolk. So let's go ahead and do, let's do a Raven Keeper. Let's do a Mayor. Let's go ahead and do a Fortune Teller. We will put in a Monk. We'll put in a Chef. We will do, let's see, it's five, six, seven, eight, nine. I need one more. Let's put in. Oh, you know what? I threw this layout together real quick here, guys, so give me a second. I'll get that taken care of. There you go. Sorry about that. All right, so... The last one I'm going to put in, I will go ahead and just put in. Let's do a washerwoman. So six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Let's pass them out. All right. Who do I have as the marionette? I could do the mayor marionette. Which would be a one. I could also do a... See the positioning on that uh, recluse is kind of wonky here because if I put it on there, it's a I could do him a chef too. Um, let's go ahead and let's 
So here's what I want to do. I think what I want to do is I want to make the washerwoman the marionette. And I'll still give them true info. All right, bluffs are going to be a uh, slayer. Um, Butler. And let's give him a virgin. Because if I do a mayor in it, it's going to be a chef one. I don't think that anyone's going to be willing to go for that mayor. Alright, you know what, again, just because I will go ahead and do it for you. I'll give you the mayor and that you don't see it a whole lot in setup, so I'll go ahead and do it. We'll do the mayor and that we will go ahead and change their alignment. The red herring is going to be on Roxy. Washerwoman is going to confirm. We're going to show a monk. We're going to show a monk between those two. All right. Chef is going to get a one. All right. You know what? Let's switch it up. We'll go ahead and do monk and baron. That's fine. We'll show that. Why not? Okay, that's it for the setup. Remind myself that they are going to get a one. Let's go back and say goodnight to them. Your games. I've been evil like 200 of them. <laughs> All right, everybody. You should have received. And then robots happened. You should have received <laughs> characters. I'm going to send you to bed. Good night. Good night. Good night. Yay. Honestly, thought we were already in bed. <laughs> More sleep. All Always. right, let's do this. I've got so much clock tower in the next like week and a half. Hey, skills. Hello. All right, Brockwell. Oh, no. Oh, no. What's oh, wrong? The last time. The last. The last. Last time I was on Gen Con, uh, I was the Baron and I had an absolute stinker. So I, this is redemption. Oh, no, good. You know, you go, I, I, I'm, go. I'm go. <laughs> hoping nothing but the best for you. Okay, thank you. All right, uh, I'm going to tell you that uh, your demon is Lorinda. No way. <laughs> wow, the amount of evil tokens Lorinda gets is insane. Well, we're just talking about it. I understand that, but uh, that's all I'm going to tell you. Cool. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you. Hi, Lorinda. Hello. So, uh, so the new regime is going to be exactly the same as the old regime. Yeah, sticky red fingers just sort of carry over, apparently. Sure, let's do it. All right. Um, well, I'm going to tell you that uh, Brockwell is your minion. Mm -hmm. Crimson is your marionette. Okay. Your bluffs are Slayer, Butler, and Virgin. Awesome. Thank you. You're welcome.
So just pulling up the night order here to make sure. Yeah, let's go to the washerwoman. Hello, George. Hello, skills. All right, George, uh, I'm going to wake you up and I'm going to tell you that you know that either Dak or Brockwell is the monk. Dak or Brockwell is the monk. Got it. This will right. be fun. All right. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, new host, same demon. That's exactly right. Hello. All right, James. What would you like to get? Ooh. Spicy too? Okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and tell you you get a one. Okay, I'll take a one. All right, thank you. All right, thank you. All right, let's do the fortune teller. Actually, let's give it a second to breathe here. And then we will uh, go to the fortune teller. So. Again, Patters is no longer going to be hosting Gen Con, just so you are all aware. I'll be taking over and hosting the Gen Con Thursday stream of Blood on the Clock Tower for you. Um, at the same time as uh, before. So uh, I'm looking forward to doing this. I'll be with you for quite some time. I hope you all enjoy my storytelling and uh, the shenanigans that I'm going to try and get these players into. All right, let's go to Lorinda. I'm sorry, Lydris. Or not. Hey, skills. Hello, Lydris. Lydris, choose yes. two, choose two players for me. I will choose Lorinda and Dak, please. Ooh, Lorinda and Dak. I'm gonna give you a yes. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Yeah, Lorinda is still the demon. So that this may be a short game. <laughs> Just with the way it drew out, this may be a short game. All right. That's it for tonight. I'm contemplating moving the red herring, which I can do because I haven't hit it yet. And as much as token in. Yes, uh, Patters did absolutely start past to me. That is absolutely correct. Um. Thinking that I might actually put it on the saint. Yeah, let's do it. We're going to move it. All right. <laughs> well, let's bring them back and get things rolling here, guys. Here we go. Good morning, Ravenswood Bluff. Welcome to the worst day of the rest of your lives. Uh, your storyteller, as per usual, uh, no longer lives. Um, that's just the way the game starts. Don't ask any questions. It's just the way it is. Um, also, uh, there's a demon running amok. Amok, 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 amok. 
So please feel free to kill them before some of you join me in the afterlife. I'll give you about eight minutes. Hey y'all, it's a Baron game. Something, you know, to bear in mind. Ha ha. Mm. Oh, interesting. <laughs> Uh, Brendan, are you there? I am. Can you hear me? I'm gonna refresh. Can you hear me, Skills? Uh, I can hear Brendan. Uh, Brendan, you should refresh. Yeah, okay. Okay, then. I guess I'll just go back to town. Yep, sorry. Okay, well. Nice. So I've decided this game I will be giving out sus. Soldier, Undertaker, Slayer. Because why not? Or I'll nominate a virgin because I'm probably drunk if there is actually a baron. That's fair. That's fair. <laughs> I might make up some false info at some point and try and get myself <laughs> sussed. <laughs> <laughs> Just see if there's a mare bounce or not, you know. <laughs> cool. Sounds good. But if you're good, it probably means James is evil, so... <laughs> Not shame evil James is. <laughs> I mean, James hasn't said that I'm the Mario yet. Okay, so possibly minion then if James is evil. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Thanks. We'll see you in a bit. I have a blue token, so I have to be the marionette. So either you or Crimson well, you, or the demon. I, think. I would. I would look at Crimson if I were you. Unless, unless Crimson's a recluse, and that would be our third outsider, which cannot happen, so yeah. that would be weird. Of course that can't happen. That's never happened in Clock Tower, right? People lying. Well, no. Yeah, indeed. But, yeah. What would you uh, like to lie about today? I can give you a two or a three. Take two sounds good. Let's put you on the spot for that, those minions. All right, I'll give you Slayer or Soldier. Interesting. I'll give you Slayer or Mare. Slayer or Mare. Interesting. See, if I was going to give a three, I would have given Mare as my third. I'd have given Empath as my third. Okay. Um, with a zero, clearly, because you sat next to me. It's, it's got to be with a one, because I'm good, therefore I'm the marionette, therefore... What oh, yes, and that was, therefore Crimson's your demon, yeah. Yeah, I think we should just kill Crimson, to be honest. Sounds Based on pure so mathematical reasoning. Or we could just kill you, and then we know we've got an evil. Just day. kill me, and then we've got a dead evil. Yeah, that's fine as well. <laughs> okay, All right, mate. cool. No worries. Cheers. See you in a bit. You chef librarian. Oh, top four. Top four. Look at this. Uh, I'm Raven Keeper or Slayer. Raven Keeper or Slayer. Oh, perfect. Thank you. Not gonna. They've already gone. Never mind. Never mind. It's fine. How is it? Okay. All right. I got you down. Cool. Thank you. Thank you, dear. Have a great day. Outsider, yeah. Um, I'm just gonna try. Ooh, who's 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 the, who's the other outsider claim? Uh, the other outsider claim is Brendan. Right, okay. Town Square, but I think there's only about five of us there. Um, I, I'm gonna okay. try and just go with I'm the marionette and get out of the evil on day like with five left and just play out of the evil and say, well, I'm not the demon. Don't kill me and see what happens. Or I might, if, if the heat comes on, I might just pass it to you and you'll have great fun with it. <laughs> um, yeah, just um, so, can you say that one more time? Just so I I'm basically just going to possibly out evil later in the game and just as marionette and just not get killed because I'm a minion, so why would they kill me? Or I might okay. just start a party if the heat gets too much and I think they're actually going to kill me, but we'll see. I'm going to take okay. Slayer for now and play a sensible game like a sensible person, and I'm sure it will degenerate into a mess, basically. My numbers look really rookie by comparison. Yeah, I think I've probably started off like four or five in general. Yeah. <laughs> so not too many myself, but yeah. playing a lot, <laughs> as you can Fair tell. Fair enough. Yeah, definitely. 
So it's always great watching. So yeah, what do you want to do? Um, Ones, to get... twos, weird things. <laughs> oh, what would weird things be? I don't know. What evil like the what is what evil player would uh, claim your role? Oh, actually, I could give you four and then include evil. So obviously, imp would be the demon. Um, yeah. Minion, what would it be for minion? Probably poisoner, poisoner or scarlet woman. Cool. Uh, outsider, probably saint, and then townsfolk mayor. Okay. Uh, well, I would either be the empath, the butler, the spy, or obviously the imp. <laughs> Nice. 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 So I've got a nice little empath number, but I'm not sure I trust it. It's that between these between next to an outsider, you know? Yeah, very true. Um, I will tell you that I am either the Slayer or the Mayor. Slayer Mayor. All right. It's a classic. Yep. Okay. It's a classic Thank game. you. So, all right. All right. Cheers. Thank you so much. Paper and on the grim. Same. <laughs> next, I was nearly showed you them. What? And that, and that learn, being learn, said, learn this is all I wrote yesterday in my Call of Cthulhu session. <laughs> oh my God. Like four hours. <laughs> oh right. <laughs> and I wrote three lines and a lot of doodles. Hmm. Is it worth it to save an hour of driving for to drive the toll road? Depends how much the toll road costs. Yeah, uh, it's it's gonna be mm. at least. Yeah, I uh, I know that like to get to the Ohio border is gonna be like five bucks, but I don't know what the tolls would be after that. I know in the UK. Yeah, same old, isn't it? Uh, what would you like to do? Uh, what do you want to do? Uh, I, was like, I, uh, I can start off simple by saying I'm looking for a monk. Interesting. Uh, well, you haven't found one. If that's if that's any help, <laughs> um, I've not I've not I've not actually heard of one yet myself. Um, I will I will tell you though. Uh, I'll give you a three or a two. What would you rather do, a three or a two? I'm quite happy to hard claim. I think I've probably told I have you done enough, a hard enough claim already to with it. with what I said. So I know. I'll do. We'll do a two then. Okay. Cool. Uh, I'm either the chef or the empath. Okay. Uh, I am either the empath or the virgin. Ooh. Very, very interesting. Okay. Um, if I do hear of a monk, I will I will pass it on. Um, All claims that I've heard before, which I'm not... Uh, I'm, I'm okay with, I'm just saying. Yeah, I've given only twos to some people that are part of that for me, obviously. I'm going sure, through sure. you, but yeah. And, 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 and I, I just want to say, uh, this is the first time that I'm noticing that that is your hair. <laughs> that is actually my hair, yeah. I, I, I used to think that it was like a hood or something that you were wearing. <laughs> no, it's, it's actually it's actually the hair. That, that's, uh, that's all That's all natural. Uh, not, yeah, not natural. I grew this myself, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> all right. <laughs> out of time, Derek. Yeah, that's right. I'll get you tomorrow. Welcome back to town, everybody. I will give you a few moments to discuss things amongst yourselves, and then I will open up nominations. I have talked to three people, and I have three double claims. Wow. <laughs> are they all slayers? <laughs> Two of them are slayers. Oops, all slayers. <laughs> so anyway, after I blast it. Uh, I'm, I'm just going to say it in town. Uh, I agree with Madeline. It's a barren game. I'm the saint. Uh, if there is a real Slayer and they just want to clear that world, go ahead and shoot me. Cool. <laughs> I can see that you're very talkative, Town. <laughs> right? Mm. Anyone heard of a virgin on their travels? I heard of one in Earth 3. I've heard of one in Earth 2. So I've not heard anything of inter interest enough to make a uh, comment yet. <laughs> Other I mean, than I believe the Baron. Game on day one, that's quite, quite interesting. Hmm. Well, what do you nominate them, Lorinda? <laughs> Alright. Uh, With that, open. nominations are open. 
the winner nominates Brendan. Tell me why. I just want to see how much he panics. Uh, <laughs> Brandon. <laughs> this is the one thing that uh, the good team should absolutely not do. With that, you're going to need five votes to put Brendan on the block. I'd rather do it day one than final three. <laughs> <laughs> Let's re rack, it's fine. Yeah, I was going to say, if you want to re rack, go for it. Mario Saint, go. <laughs> Mario Saint, go. <laughs> that would definitely be a thing. Three is not enough. Brendan, safe for the day. Second call. James will nominate George. All right, James, tell us about it. Okay, I was hoping for a possible virgin. Never mind. Uh, probably kill me instead. And George? I I will apologize and say I didn't actually hit, hear that. I may need to re refresh, but I uh, my defense is kill me. Or, okay. All right, five is the number you're going to need to put George on the block. Fine, I'll do it. <laughs> Five is enough. George is slated for execution. Final call. I will close it in 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. George is executed and dies. Go to sleep. All right, folks. Um, Lydra's not pushing on Lorinda is interesting. Um, I probably would have pushed on one of the two, but we will see what we shall see. All right, so let's start off. Oh, with our monk. Hello. Hello. All right, Dak, who's here protecting tonight? Uh, I've not spoken to this person yet, but let's go with Lorinda. All right, Lorinda, it is. All right, thank you. I'm going to laugh if Lorinda tries to star pass tonight. I think that would be amazing. Well, let's go to Lorinda. All right, Lorinda, who's dying? You are muted to me. Genius. Um, I'm afraid it's going to be Dak. Oh, Dak. Dak. Thank you. Okay. Cheers. That's awesome. That's amazing. It's a really good kill. Um. Okay. Ravenkeeper doesn't proc. Let's go ahead and uh, waste a few moments here, and then we're going to go to Lydris. The important thing, guys, remember is if you're storytelling, um, if there is stuff that can go in between people that uh, characters that are in the game, make sure you give it a little breathing room in between so that you can, especially if it's a bluff, so that you can uh, help the evil team out uh, that there may actually be that character in play. It's a nice little storytelling tip. All right, let's go to Lydris. Hello. Hello, Lydris. Who would you like to check tonight? Uh, Brendan and Brockwell today, please. Brendan and Brockwell, I'm going to give you a yes. Thank you, getting all the yeses. All right, enjoy. Cheers. I'm so glad that I moved that. 
so glad that I moved that red herring. All right. Next up is no one. It's a nice short night, but I did give him a butler, so as a bluff, so I will give him a few moments here. Let's see how it goes. Uh, Dak dying first could read that there's a spy in place, so I'm also going to give a little extra time for that. Uh, Lydris on night one picked Dak and Lorinda. So Dak dying this early, uh, uh, Lydris may push on Lorinda here. Yeah, I'm hoping that they pick Madeline and someone else. That'd be amazing. But I think they're going to probably stick, uh, stay away from Madeline because Madeline came out and said it was a Baron game immediately. All right. Well, let's go ahead and get this rolling. Good morning, town. Beautiful morning for everybody except for Dak, who died in the night. Should we try and chat today, Dak? Sure, sure. George, can we have a catch up? Sure, welcome. The monk. The monk, wow. That's pretty bad. I was claiming Slayer Mare, so. Ah, fair enough. Um, cool. Uh, I've been claiming Slayer Soldier. Okay. Um, but yeah, so that's all I've got for you, but good to know that you're the monk. Yep. Yep. Um, Cool. Um, I, yeah, I've heard of quite a few night ones. Not much ongoing info. Which is um, I only heard of one night one. Um, I have a feeling I, I know what George was. Uh, we see, George wasn't a night one that I've heard of, actually. No, no, no. I just out of the two that he gave me. Um, I think I know which one he is. So. Yeah. I've heard of Chef and a Librarian. So. Okay. Cool. All right. Good to know. All right. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Much time as I uh, know, know exactly what's going on. <laughs> cool. Yeah, no worries. Yes. Um, Your information is safe with me. Yeah, please keep on the down there. We'll just see what happens. All right. Cheers. Thank you. Yeah. No worries. Oh, I really don't trust that virgin claim you just gave me. That just feels so sus. <laughs> uh, let's see how this plays out. <laughs> how dare you! <laughs> <laughs> How's it going, all right? Not, not bad for you. I have a cough that won't go away, but... Oh, that's not good, is it? Yeah, um, well. Okay, so you're hard claiming saint, is that correct? I, until I die. Hopefully in the night. Fair shout. Uh, I will just tell you then. Do not nominate me, please. Understood. <laughs> I will. All right. I will. All right. Thank you. Uh, but I don't. Are I don't want you? it to be public. I no, no. Yeah, public. you're playing Hidden Virgin. I like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. All right. Cool. Um, Enjoy. Is, is Madeline? Do you believe Madeline? Uh either. I, I like. She came out at the beginning of the game and said it's a Baron game. So either she's the other outsider or she's the Baron. <laughs> True. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Uh, all right, cheers, dude. See you in a bit. Cheers. Thanks. But I'm yeah. getting less and less likely. Yes, my uh, real role is most definitely not uh, the one I gave at town, which was basically bluffing empath looking for the monk. Fair. Um, I, so I've cl claimed empath zero, so I am definitely not empath zero. <laughs> Fine. I, will. I do trust Brendan's saint claim socially. Yeah... I'm less trustworthy of Madeline, to be honest. That I do agree with, though. I I, I think she might actually be our Baron. But... I, I would say that it, it does have the feel of Baron play to it. Yeah. Or legit. legit. It, it's a, it is a strong Baron play if you think this dr to, to gamble on the drunk being in yeah. and just taking a punt. So. 
Yeah, I, I can see the Mad Madeline as Baron World quite easily. Yeah. All right. Cool. Cool. Good luck. Cheers. Soldier from somebody as well. So yeah. Part yeah. of a soldier in a monk game. There's a saint. There's another outside. I've heard of. A... I've heard of a couple soldiers. Um... A lot of people don't want to die in this town, which is fair yeah. enough, because it's a dangerous town, maybe. Yeah. Bad things happen to people here. Exactly. But you've got my hard claim anyway. Um, I okay. have no idea where to use it. I should probably use it soon, but I'm not in a hurry. I don't think people kill well, me. Well, get, get thrown on the block, get thrown on the block, and then, and then yeah, uh, that's what I'll do. you can use it as you do that. So. Seems good. Cheers, Doug. All right. Cheers. A lot for now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Um... I mean, you know, a recluse claim could just be useful because in that world, Lydris or George could be your mar could be the marionette sat beside you. But it's possible. All right, we'll leave it at that for now. Uh, I'll tell you, I'm. <laughs> Let's see, you've basically given me a two. Uh, I'll give you librarian chef. Okay. All right. Cool. Cool. And I had a zero because I've sort of done my thing at that point. But yeah. Uh, fair enough. Uh, it's like if I confirm the two outsiders and hard confirm the Baron game, it's you. That's as much use as anyone can really be. Yeah, no, absolutely. Uh, so, um, I say I'm holding on to my real role for now, just in case there is an Undertaker or spy who wants to try and claim Undertaker at me. <laughs> sure, no, fair enough. That's reasonable. I have heard um, of someone. If, if I don't hear someone, I say I've heard of the, a someone as well, but I've. Not to be approached by anyone yet, so if yeah. I've not been approached by the end of the day, I'll have to <laughs> town in the morning. Yeah, fair enough. All right. Cool. Good to know. I say, I am slightly suspicious of a potential spy game, or spy baron game currently. But... Yeah, I, I can see why that might be thought to be the case. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Uh, cool. Yeah, interesting. Um, I mean, I, I will tell you. I've been giving Slayer Soldier to everyone. Fair enough. So I like like that too. It's always good. <laughs> All right. Cheers. Excellent. Bye. Have a good one. Well, look at this town coming back all early. This is a very different kind of town for me. I'm used to having to drag people back. Yeah, it's been very. I was just saying, it's a really quiet town today. We're all, we're all being quiet and civilized. I mean, if anyone wants to sneak some last co minute combos in, you got one minute. <laughs> uh, uh, Roxy, should I try to sneak one in? Come on, then. Ooh, Dad, can we chat, please? <laughs> yeah. Whilst I was muted, yeah, Lydra requested just afterwards. I was like, ah, yes, how are Sad you doing? Times. I'm okay, how are you? Yes, I'm good, and I'm actually good, you know. But you know, you also know me well enough to know that I will do an imp star pass to a scarlet woman on day one like that, so absolutely. I, I, I know you genuinely won't believe me unless there's an undertaker who's seen me as something. I'm counting that I've spoken to you, Madeline, just because you spoke in tap. I, yeah, that's fair. But we should probably talk at some point. Of course, we can do that tomorrow. Sounds good. All right. Didn't want to get double donged. I'm sorry. <laughs> Welcome back to town, everybody. I'll give you a moment or two, and then we'll open them up so you guys can start axing people. Uh, might as well let everybody know. I was your monk. Oh. Yep, that's what I put down. <laughs> that's, why, that's why I kind of feel that it was probably a, a spy game. Spy Baron. It's possible. Could just be a lucky snipe, to be fair. Yeah. Did we... Did uh, George, has an Undertaker approached you? I have not had a public approach from an Undertaker yet, but Understood. I have spoken to a lot of people who may be. Okay. And okay. playing <laughs> coin. maybe undertake. There's a lot of double claims here. I don't like it. Yeah. 
like I said, I think I'm in a Legion game. Everyone's giving me the demon bluffs. <laughs> Something's gone wrong. In that world, Gills is actually going to rip off the map. <laughs> Pat is running a Legion game. Surprise. <laughs> Well, it must be an atheist game. Uh, I would say the stream is pulling it. Pulling is actually that this is half one away. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. Did I forget to tell you that when I said the strings pulling, you know, it's TB plus marionette, that it could be, you know, plus five marionettes. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, skills. And a snitch to give them bluffs. <laughs> nah. <laughs> He wants them to work for it. You damn right. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and open him up. Can I nominate Brockwell, please? Roxy nominates Brockwell, tell me why. I'm just trying to find a hidden virgin. Brockwell? Oh, well, well you've, you've, hit, you've hit the, the virgin, but it's... Um... It's not gone off, which is not good. Cool, uh, kill me. Well, um, yeah, my defense is I, I was the virgin. Um, yeah, so this indicates in my eyes that Roxy's possibly evil or, or drunk or poisoning. But yeah, that's that. All right, you are going to need four to put Brockwell on the block. If I called this in my first chat with Crimson, <laughs> I said to Crimson, I'm the Raven Keeper. I want to nominate the Virgin to find out if I'm drunk. That or was I'm the, the Virgin I heard in a three earlier. It's not a huge thing, obviously. But... Two Kill is me. not enough. Uh, Brenda nominates Roxy. Tell me why. <laughs> oh wow, it's been a while. Um, uh, well, Roxy nominated the claimed virgin, and it did not proc. So Roxy is possibly either the drunk or uh, or the marionette. If they if they received a blue token. All right, Roxy. I do not object. Four is the number needed to put Roxy on the block. If we have two claimed outsiders, we can't have a drop. Yeah, that, well, that's... Indeed. I don't trust the outsiders, though. Is no. Yeah. Okay. yeah. I also I'm don't sorry. like... Hmm. Alright, six is enough. Roxy is slated for execution. Final call. I also don't like the fact that two days now that we've killed people that are sort of happy to die. Yeah. It's, just, it's a fairly yeah. small game. Hmm. I mean, obviously, assuming that evil haven't killed evil, which is more likely not than TB, and the imp hasn't star passed. We've got four, we'll have four dead good players. Oh, don't worry, my Scarlet Woman caught it already yesterday. I could be the marionette. <laughs> that is true. That would be true. Cool. You're not mine. Or, oh, wait. Closing the day in 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Roxy is executed and dies. Good night, everyone. Alright, who gets it tonight? I'm gonna to take a chance on Lydris. He's claimed soldier to me, so I might not die. Let's see what happens. Alright, Lydris it is, thank you. That's a huge hit. I do not think that Crimson knows that they're the marionette. It's a really good kill. It's gonna sell that it's a spy world. Um, the only terrible thing is that it's sat next to the recluse. So... It's interesting. Um... 
Lorinda is going with Slayer. Brockwell decided to go with Virgin. There's a chef that's still out there with a one. I don't know that they've shared that number yet. So, um, literally it's going to be short nights, guys, because guess what? Uh, the only one that acts tonight now is from now on is going to be Lorinda as the imp. So, I'm going to just go ahead and sell that there's a butler and that there's a spy. Um, this is a beautiful thing. I, this is why I love TV. Um, even without a marionette, I mean, just this is base TV. TV is such a strong script. Um, people complain sometimes that it's, uh, that it's a beginning script. Some of the best games that I've ever run and some of the best games that I've ever storied that I've ever played in are Trouble Brewings. Um, Trouble Brewing is just such a great script because it's it, it allows for such great plays to be made, um, especially with the imp being able to star pass. Um, it's just it's really it's it flip flops between uh, Bad Moon Rising uh, as my favorite script. So, all right, that's gonna be it. Let's go ahead and bring them back, and we'll see how today plays out. Yeah, they may consider it. Do this. <laughs> this is true. We'll see. Good morning, to town. A beautiful morning, except for the fact that Lydris has died in the night. Uh, Lydris, is this support tax theory of a spy? Uh, yes. You're in there. I think you're the only person also not spoken yeah, to. Yeah. It would also, in my mind, support the spy. Okay. Uh, James, shall we catch up? I've heard of. I am a... not a mysterious undertaker, no. I'm. Oh. Un unfortunately, I'm in like a 57 way claim for Slayer, but I'm hard claiming you now. Fair enough. Um, um, I was giving I... Slayer and Empath and Mare, but I'm the Slayer. Fair enough. Uh, I'm just simply this town's washerwoman who is confirming Dak as monk. You're confirming Dak, okay. Oh my god. Okay. Um, so yeah, spy game looking good. Very much so, yeah. Who was the other ping? Uh, the other ping was Brockwell. Okay. Well, what um, do we do about the Roxy situation? Because we've only got a kills here. I, I was gonna say, I think I don't mind. I don't mind shooting someone today if that helps, like narrow it down. Obviously, Slayer is always a good demon. Lie, bullshit, blah blah blah. But to be honest, if we're gonna Slayer shoot anyone, I would. I think Slayer shooting Brendan is probably. It, is it makes the, sense with the same. It is not. Of, it? it is not the worst shout, given the now potential suspects outside claim count. I mean, yeah, we've got we've got three if you count Brockwell as a drunk. We've also got Roxy as a potential. Or Roxy is a drunk. Or, or Roxy is a drunk. Yeah, so they're a drunk, two dodgy. Yeah, I think Brenda's a good call. Okay. Um, uh, what is the claim for Madeline? Is it recluse? I don't know explicitly, other than you know, face up outsider. So. Yeah, we just we just went with she's face up outsider, and <laughs> we just all I, left it at that. So I, I'll say I've not explicitly asked her. I'll probably whisper her today and try and find out. But, but. Okay. At least that's, that's my feeling. Okay, do you have anyone you suspect could be evil? I haven't spoken to Crimson yet. Um, Roxy did give me... I don't know, Roxy gave me a claim of uh, either Undertaker or Soldier. Oh. So, and to be virgin hunting, I was like, hmm. And then to claim Raven Keeper. So, ah. so, I don't know. <laughs> Other than that, I really don't have anybody on my radar as of yet. So. Okay. All right. Well, thank you for the info. All right. No problem. See All you. right. See ya. But I'm, I'm kind of wondering, is, is there a poisoner that's 
gotten me or um because we do you know what Dak is? And why was they openly outed monk? Of course he did, yeah. Um yeah. Well, because I was I thought Lygus was the soldier based on the three he gave me. So I, I'm wondering if that's a poison kill, but he may just not be the soldier. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. All right, cool. Thanks, Roxy. We'll, okay. we'll chat in a bit. Cheers. Cheers. So unless there's a poisoner, I do think Roxy's drunk, therefore making obviously one of you or Brendan probably evil. Yes, that's a natural conclusion. Oh god, I'm not evil. It's a poisoner and that version of interaction was poisoned and then there's no outsiders mm. and you're both evil. But I don't know I don't necessarily see that as much. It could be a barren poisoner. Mm. And just a really buggy demon. Yeah, it's quite possible. But at the same time, I don't know what's going on, so... But I do have my list, and I will figure out what to do. Woo. I think I've got... I've been quite quiet all game so far, but I've got two people I think I'd probably want to nominate today, so I'll probably follow up on that. Okay. Great, but yeah, thank you very much. Alright, see you around. Oh. But I guess with Mario, you don't really have to clue them in till day two, or, or even today, or even at all. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I reckon if we, I'll shoot Brendan. We should try and vote Brockwell. That sounds reasonable. Yeah. Um, okay. Do you know who the other half of that fortune teller ping is? Just in case. Uh, you don't have to tell me if you don't want. I'm fine with that. I'll hold on to it for now. Okay. Cool. Fair okay. Enough. Thank you. So I'm like, hmm. Yeah. So, yeah, I think getting Brockwell off the table is probably a good first step, but mm -hmm. we'll see. Now, I haven't spoken to Crimson yet either, so I have no idea what what they are uh, claiming. Crimson so. gave me Ravenkeeper or Slayer. <laughs> nice, both the double claims. Yeah, Roxy gave me Undertaker or Fortune Teller, so yeah, and she's obviously not the Undertaker because she wouldn't. Yeah, Roxy gave me. Roxy gave me Undertaker soldiers, so. Fair enough. Um, so. All right. Um, All right. Yeah, we'll Sounds see what's good. going on then. Yep. All right. Cheers. Cheers. Bye. <laughs> that, that fight hour. Oh dear. Oh dear. It's possible. It possible. is possible. It is possible. Um, that could explain, yeah, why why it didn't trigger. Um, but I've not been told, so but if, if that's something, that's something. Um, do you think we've got a spy? Based on the two, I'm, I'm, yes, I do. Yeah. Um, I never actually, I've not spoken to Lydris yet, I need to really. Um, you gave uh, me a three on day one. Well, uh, Lydris gave me a two on day one, they are notably neither of those two, but I now have his hard claim, and yeah, it's a spy game if his hard claim is right. Shot, I mean okay. that. I mean that. That or just sheer dumb luck. But you know, they're two great hits if they've been two great hits. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Hey, cool. Yeah, you can. You can have games like that where. You uh, just, oh, it, 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 enough, it, it is sheer it, dumb it, luck. It does guys. happen absolutely. Where the entire town is convinced of a spy, and you look up, and it's suddenly a poisoner, and you're like, "Wait, what?" <laughs> yeah. So we're leaning because I was questioning if I was poisoned or. Hear you. Okay. Can you hear me? Are you muted? Uh, I, I can hear Lorinda. Can you hear me, Madeline? I can hear skills. Yes, I can hear you. Okay, I'll be finished. But not Lorinda. I okay, I'll go back to town and I'll be I finished. am sorry. sorry. Let's not meet a problem. At the camp. Let's meet at the campfire. Can you hear me now? Oh, yes. Uh, Lorinda, try campfire with Madeline. Can you hear me? Oh no. <laughs> All right, you probably need to refresh, Madeline. 
I hate this. Okay, thank you. Yep. Madeline or May. One of us is having issues. Probably Madeline. Can you hear me now, Madeline? Yes, I can hey. hear you at all. And it's of no like choice of my own. This is going to be the worst. <laughs> at least it's working now. Yeah, we uh, just cannot find the chat at all. <laughs> Welcome back to town, everybody. You have six alive. I'll give you a few moments to discuss things. James, it's probably worth you outing at this point. But... Yeah, I've told a couple of people today anyway. Uh, Chef one. Interesting. Mm. That doesn't leave many places, does it? If, yeah, if we have two... <laughs> I... Um, a marionette virgin yeah. feels sort of possible. <laughs> well, yeah. yeah. Well, I don't think gold anything. <laughs> Is it worth coming out with my information as well? Uh, sure. Probably. Uh, How many... I was, yeah, I was the fortune five. teller. Um, I picked night one, I picked Lorinda and Dak and got a yes. Night two, I picked Brockwell and Brendan and got a yes. <laughs> That, that narrows down that chef one. Great, thanks, Ladrus. <laughs> yeah, or it's, what was your uh, night one? Who was your uh, night one? Lorinda and Dak. Lorinda Dak, okay. Yeah. Excellent. Uh, Dak, you've got your skull up. Uh, do you need to speak or? No. <laughs> no. He's just, Sorry, stop, he's stop, stop, stop throwing, showing your skull everywhere. I have, I have heard information that clears Dak out of those, though. Oh. No, I, so... I mean, it's, it's just me and Crimson or Brockwell and Brendan on those two pieces of information. Yeah. I, yeah. I think it could be. I I don't know if people will go for that today though, if, so I have if, to I would... you, if you somebody slay a shot. I think Madeline's evil Brockwell. But... Oh my gosh, just because I'm just now like being awake, am I evil? <laughs> yes. Oh. <laughs> Honestly. Like the, the only the only reason I wasn't pushing went, if... Yeah, the only reason I'm not, I haven't been pushing on Madeline before is because George claimed empath to me with a zero, So, but then George told me today that that was not true, so now I'm, like, really suspicious of Madeline. <laughs> I'm the reckless wolf. No, I... No, I mean... Yeah, I unless think... I'm, really... Unless I'm Madeline's uh, marionette and she hasn't helped me. I like just have a chat. <laughs> You've also got to remember... <laughs> You've also got to remember, though, Madeline was the first one to come out and say that this was a Baron game. As Indeed, soon as the and, game started. And I think so, that, that as that a demon, either, as yeah. a demon, you would not know that until you spoke to your minion. I would necessarily you got given think... an outsider as a bluff. Yeah. Yeah. I think to be fair, my three demon candidates are Brendan, Madeline, and Lorinda. I think if Rockwell or James are evil, either of them are a minion at the current moment in time. I, I it could be that. Um... I mean, one of us, uh, between Lorinda, Brockwell, and myself, there is also the red herring, probably. Yeah, well, between Lorinda, Brockwell, and Brendan, I have the red herring and the demon, if my information is to be yeah. believed. So we, and we have two executions. Yeah, I would like to test out a potential red herring world of Lorinda, because obviously I think Brendan, you're safer to do maybe in final three. Yeah, so. I understood. Yeah. I was thinking if there is an actual Slayer, they could shoot Brendan. I would love yeah. that. I would love that so much. Lorinda claims Slayer shoots Brendan. Weapon of choice, Lorinda. Um, teddy bears. Ooh, uh, cute, cuddly teddy bears all lined up in a row, loaded into your crossbow. You pull the trigger. Unfortunately, they are just teddy bears, and the spring is so strong that it just obliterates them, and they're stuffing everywhere. There is no effect. If that's true, that's quite a relief. <laughs> <laughs> nominations. Well, if, that's true, then that, if that's true, then that means either Lorinda. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. And nominations are open. It could be the Brock is just a demon Lorinda? doing a long game, or <laughs> or it could be Lorinda's the demon. Yeah. All right, Crimson nominates Lorinda. Tell me why. 
Um, fortune teller, yes, and for reasons previously stated, I think if Brockwell, Brockwell or James, if evil, are probably a minion, so I believe this is probably one of the three demon candidates, and with a fortune teller, yes, this is useful to potentially get off the board. Lorinda. Yeah, I think this is a good idea. Um, there's a lot of slayers in this town. I'm not going to be believed, so I think we should clear that up as well. You're going to need three votes to put Lorinda on the block. And if Madeline is genuinely the recluse, the chef one could be on George or Lydris, but Lydris, but Lydris was killed in the night and George was day one execution. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, unless I'm a Mario to someone and Madeline... Three Madeline is enough. Lorinda is oh. slated for execution. Second call. Could it be Roxy and Crimson? I just saw that message go between... <laughs> Um, Brockwell nominates Crimson. All right, Brockwell, tell us about it. Um, yeah, I noticed. I noticed the messages too. Um, it's and... me saying, "Are you the demon?" <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, just a bit, a bit interesting with with what they're bluffing as well. Um, don't know. I'm putting it out there. Crimson. Um, totally fair. I mean, there's nothing clearing me at this point, but I'm not one of the ones with fortune teller yes on. If we're believing Lydris and believing Spy or Bar Spy Baron game, which it might not necessarily mm. be, but it's um, kind of unlikely that I'd be the demon with all those yeses as well. So I think I'm pretty safe at this point. Three will be the number to tie. Four to put Crimson on the block. <laughs> Uh, uh, <laughs> that was slightly interesting there. Mm. Well. And two is not enough. Crimson safe for the day. So we have fortune teller yeses on myself, Brockwell, and Lorinda of the alive players. Mm -hmm. Correct. Dak was died in the night, uh, but is Washerwoman confirmed? I'm sorry, was that open information? <laughs> we also have like three Isn't outsiders, it? basically. If somewhere I was Washerwoman confirmed. Doc, nice. boxes, yes, um, Dak, I'm your Washerwoman. Oh. <laughs> now, in my eyes, at least clear. Oh, uh, with what we, our conversation day one, I can see that. Final call. Okay. Oh, Lorinda, that is a genuine claim of Slayer. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Okay, cool. Okay. Closing the day in 10 seconds. I'm wondering if it could be Crimson Demon and Roxy Marionette Ravenkeeper? Lorinda nominates I would have told James. Four. <laughs> or just poison Three. Who's hit Lorinda longest. nominates James. All right, Lorinda, tell us about it. Um, people were still sort of throwing out accusations at the time it was running, just thought it expensive at the end of the day, I don't, I don't think James is equal at all. James. That social read is correct, I'm not evil at all. <laughs> <laughs> but if Tam wants to kill me, I'm a spent <laughs> chef, so you know where. <laughs> like... Yeah, we just don't need to kill that. Three to tie, four to die. George, who is your other pink? Brockwell. Okay. Um, Brendan nominates Madeline. One is not enough, James, to say for the day. Brendan has nominated Madeline. Tell me why, Brendan. And pe people are throwing out uh, I, uh, possibilities that one of the outsiders is evil. Uh, Madeline did come out immediately at the beginning of the game and said it's a Baron game, which um, could be believable. It could be just the Baron or even a demon getting an outsider as a bluff. Um, if people are saying that one of the outsiders is evil, I think that this is, I mean, obviously I don't think it's me, so. Madeline. I, well, I could understand your logic. I think I would be a bad execution based off fortune teller info where two yeses within two unique pairs, and none of them are me, the recluse, which 
but being a false positive on its own, so it would make no logical sense to execute me. That is a fair point. Of course, the worst part is Lydris could just be the marionette to the recluse. <laughs> you are going to need three to tie or to put Madeline on the block. This is a lot of nominations to get a spent slayer that's got a fortune teller yes on them off the block. I, it's not even necessarily trying to get them off the block. It's just... No, it's just throwing out options. It is. Yeah. It's a lot of options. <laughs> Two is not I'm enough. I'm surprised that Brockwell and Brendan haven't been nominated, but I'm, I'm fine to die here. Yeah. No, they're the ones that have nominated. Closing the day in 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Lorinda is executed and dies. Oh, what? All oh. right, let's go over Every this. Time, Every, Every time, Lorinda. Every time. Uh. <laughs> All right, let's start <laughs> off with let's, <laughs> let, let's let's start off with what we absolutely know. Lorenda <laughs> was your imp. <laughs> we have uh, Roxy, the Raven Keeper, who decided to eat themselves during the day. We have uh, Dak, who was the first kill at night. They were, of course, the monk, followed by your second kill at night, which was Lydris, your fortune teller. They did receive a yes on night one on Dak and Lorinda. They also received a yes the following night on their red herring, the saint, which was Brendan. We have George S., who was your washerwoman, who did confirm that there was a monk between Dak and Brockwell, the Baron. We have Madeline, who was your recluse. We have James, who was the chef. And unfortunately, Crimson, you lost with the evil team. You were the marionette. <laughs> they saw the mayor token, however. So they were the mayor yeah. Annette. <laughs> that's why, that's why they got the mayor claim. The mayor claim got back to me, and um, I figured that and normally I would tell the marionette, but with Crimson going for mayor, I thought Crimson wins either way with the mayor claim at the end there. You should have told me because I, I was watching. Right, no, absolutely, I'm not. Uh, I take the responsibility. I'm sorry. And I had a chance to also at the end there tie a vote, which would have made me definitely evil, but definitely off the block. I could star pass it and take the 50-50. It goes to Crimson, and then we might win that way as well. I'll stare town down. I've I've spent too many times trying to tie votes and be out at even stuff. I thought I'd stare it down this time and see if town. Yes, uh, the bluffs were. The bluffs were Slayer, Butler, and Virgin, by the way. And that was your game of strings pulling. GG. I think the danger of um, star passing to Crimson is the fact that I didn't proc the supposed Virgin. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I thought Brockwell played well. Brockwell's trying to get all the heat onto himself. And um, if that works, then then I get to star pass at some point onto Crimson. I, need, I did nearly yeah. numb myself, but I. I... I, I, I didn't, obviously. No, I think I played well, but I, I definitely let us down there. It's, my, it's on me. Um, I, I, yeah. I've had so many different ways of playing Demon recently. I just decided to stare that one down and see if I could. That, that, was, that was brilliant, because I totally trusted you. Yeah. Especially after you uh, after you Slayer shot what your biggest competition for Demon Candidate. Yeah. I was never not going to check you day one, Miranda, when I was Fortune Teller, though. That was the problem. <laughs> no. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> night. <laughs> Night two, I went to protect Lorinda as it was either protect the uh, the Slayer or make sure that that there wasn't a star pass that night if Lorinda was the demon. They so, were genuine dude. snipes as well. The... Dad, an empty <laughs> circle for me, and Lydris gave me Slayer, which I know is a bluff or soldier. I'm like, what's he protecting? I'm gonna, I'm gonna to take the chance on Lydris there and see what happens. Yeah, I, yeah, I didn't know yeah. at all what you were, but I just went for <laughs> that's that's a hard soldier claim disguised as a two. Yeah. The message you saw me send Crimson was me saying, fake Slayer shot. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when I get a blue token, I'm like very in solvy solvy mode. <laughs> it's like, it's like Yeah, so. <laughs> Stopped it, welcome. <laughs> I'm sorry. The, the interesting part was, uh, you know, the two snipes on the monk and the fortune teller with no information out there. Everyone thought it was a spy game. And that that chef one finally coming out i think kind of sold it that it was probably in that lower half yeah so i had brendan brockwell lorinda as my evil team for ages mm. well yeah. I mean, you had two out of the three yeah not bad three, well yeah <laughs> i would have voted on brendan tomorrow yeah i was half convinced i was marrying at that point having got all yeses <laughs> yeah, um, what kind of was interesting was the positioning of the recluse here, because if I put in, if I make Lydris the uh, marionette there, um, that chef could end up getting a two, which just kind of nerfs the entire game. Or I give them a one, and immediately they're probably going to be looking to kill George or Lydris anyways once Madeline comes out. So yeah. it was kind of screwy i was possibly thinking about making george the uh marionette originally and just giving them true information and see how that went but oh that's gonna be a, yeah you know it is what it is so we are about uh 45 minutes short anyone interested in sticking around and running a speed tv yeah. I'm going to head yeah. out. See y'all. All right. You have a good one, Madeline. Thanks for playing. Thanks, Madeline. Bye bye. All right. Cheers, Bye. Madeline. Bye. I'm, just, I'm happy with, with how that went for me because compared to the last time I was the Baron on this uh, on this stream. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, <laughs> that was, was that was a lot better. And the chef won that game as well, bro. bro. No, I, well, I like Chef Two on that. I thought it was good. Yeah, we had a Chef Two on that one, unfortunately. Chef yeah. solves games. <laughs> That's all there is. Yeah, Chef solves yep. games. Mm. Darn Chef. He really does. <laughs> Can we get another story? So, makes you feel any better, bro? After we. Oh, what was that? <laughs> Can we get a new storyteller with you and you and Patters just doing the whole Luinda's the Imp comedy? <laughs> um, oddly enough, I don't like to bend into that meta. I just. Lorinda being evil I, I, is, is I, good I enough. I genuinely don't mind. I genuinely find it amusing. I just, it's just, um, I've tried so many different things. It's quite, a, it's going to be quite good practice, to be honest. I really want you to be the virgin and someone evil nominate you. Because <laughs> everyone will just assume you're the evil. <laughs> uh, I've seen this happen to other right. people. It's even funnier when it doesn't me. <laughs> Alright, I want to go set up a game. Wow. Alright, we've got a nine player. We'll do a quick TB, fill out the rest of the hour. Trouble brewing. Let's select the characters. We've only got one minion. We're going to make it a poisoner. <coughs> let's do... Um, let's do a butler and a recluse. Actually, no, we'll do a butler and a drunk. We will go ahead and do a mayor, an undertaker, a empath, a raven keeper, a librarian, five, Six, seven, eight, one more. Let's go ahead and put in. Uh, let's put in a soldier. Why not? That's nine of them out there. I still need to determine who I'm going to make the trunk, but we'll see from there. Let's pass them out and see what I've got. All right. Crimson's the demon. James is the poisoner. Let's go ahead and make all right the librarian is going to be the drunk but they're going to see a drunk between brendan 
and Dak. Yes, Lorinda's good this game. It's amazing. The bluffs are going to be fortune teller, a chef, and we'll give them, um, let's give them a monk. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and set this up. Let's do it. You did help me back up my bluff, though, so that was fun. All right, everybody's got to roll. Go to sleep. That was a stupid game. I don't know how we got away with it. It's because we didn't test me the second time, despite the fact I said we should test me the second time. Gambler confirmed, though, James. <laughs> hey. All right, James. Uh, your demon is crimson. Of course it is. Uh, who would you like to poison? Uh, Roxy, please. Roxy it is. Thank you. Thank you. All right, Crimson, your minion is James. Lovely. Your bluffs are fortune teller, chef, monk. Wonderful. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Hello, Lydris. Hello. Lydris, I'm going to tell you that you see a drunk between Dak and Brendan. Dak and Brendan, thank you very much. You're welcome. Brendan, I'm going to give you the spiciest of numbers. It Wait, is that a one or a zero? It's a zero. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. All right, Brockwell, who would you like to make your master? Uh... I'll give it a crimson after last game. Why not? All right. Thank, so you. thank you. Yet again, the butler being complicit. All right. Fun, fun, and more fun. Let's go ahead and get things running here. We're going to shorten these days up a little bit. Let's do it. He told the poppy grower. Good morning, town. I'm dead. You know this. This is how the game starts. Let's do it. You got six minutes. Yeah, told the poppy grower that they were the good twin and that Patters was the evil twin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice. So we just kill Lorinda, right? Like, Lorinda's not even there. Oh. You first, because uh, today you are my master. Oh. Okay. Lovely stuff. <laughs> I thought I thought you deserved it after the last game. There you go. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of those. It happens. It's a thing. Yeah. yeah. Uh, anything from yourself? It doesn't have to be hard. Um, like, as long as it's like I'm not the spy or something stupid like that. <laughs> you could be my my one hard claim, and then I won't tell anybody else. Uh, I'm the chef with a one. Chef with a one. Awesome stuff. All right. Thanks, Crimson. See you in a bit. No worries. See you in a bit. I fucking called it after our chat. <laughs> I, I told skills in chat that Virgin claim was sus AF. Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> Why not? Um, uh, come on, speed TV. Be then. Uh, I'm the fortune teller. I've got the note. 
Uh, Butler, Crimson, Crimson oh. is my monster. Love it. Yeah. You're play, cool. playing Fortune Teller with a no. Yep. Who did you choose? Uh, my neighbours. Neighbours. Good shout. Thank you very much. No worries. Uh, I can give you two. Uh, go for it. Uh, Slayer Butler. Slayer Butler. Interesting. I will tell you I am a top four and you're in one of my pings. Uh, okay. So, either the washerwoman or the librarian. I, um, I or assume. the investigator. Or the investigator. If Yeah, well, I'm, I'm yeah. good, so I'm going to rule that out. <laughs> okay, fair. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's that's what I'll, that's all I'll tell you at this stage. All right, all right, that's fine. Right. Uh, if if I'm the washerwoman, uh, did you see the slayer? Or if you're the washerwoman, did you see the slayer? If I'm the washerwoman, I did see the slayer. Yes. Okay. Cool. All right. All right. Good to know. Good to know. Cheers. Thank you. Get a picture with him, and you you can tell in uh, her face that. It was it was like the greatest moment of her life. So, okay, I, I'd love to meet him. I, I actually went to um, WrestleMania 33, where uh, uh, Taker lost to Reigns. Oh, uh, that was so deflating. We thought that was it. I was like, yep. Uh, and then he came back next year. Of course. Damn it. Right. All right. <laughs> Cheers. Yeah. See the yeah. Bad. Uh, so I am actually the role that you claimed to me last game. Oh, excellent. Yeah. Fun. I like it. Uh, and I With do have a zero. So, yeah, I do have a zero, so I do trust you and Dak. Uh, unless excellent. one of you is by, so. Oh, rats. That's my plan gone already. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, whatever you want to say, I'm not claiming empath to anyone who's not my neighbors. Uh, I will, will tell you something the, basically the same as I. Oh, fuck it. You can be the actual hard play. Uh, I am the Raven Keeper. Ooh, Mirinda okay. can probably guess by virtue of what I told them. Sorry, Lydra, it's tomorrow? No, yeah, tomorrow. Timing is always. <laughs> We're going to keep it at a brisk pace, guys. You get one minute to discuss, and then I'll open them. Uh, are there any virgins out there? No, no. <laughs> Not heard of them. Uh, I'm sorry, for that I really want to know on April. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm happy to say I'm a top four. So, in the absence of the same plan, you can kill me if you want. I've got a better nomination. Nominations are now open. I hate those words over the last three weeks. <laughs> James will nominate Lorinda. <laughs> <laughs> I can't imagine why. <laughs> um, I mean, you know, firstly, let's start with the obvious. Statistically likely at this point. Uh, but more importantly, claimed my own role to my face. <laughs> Lorinda. <laughs> mm, I don't think I did. You're gonna need five. Is that because you told him a bluff? <laughs> Plus we have um, we have, we have thirty minutes to kill. We can't can't just end it day one again. <laughs> Four is not five. Lorinda is safe for the day. Thank you. George nominates Brockwell because he's not the virgin. <clears throat> George nominates Brockwell. Go ahead. Go ahead, George. Oh, yeah. I'm just say saying this. I'm nominating Brockwell because I think he's not the virgin. Brockwell. Uh, here comes the pivot. No, no, no. Um, <laughs> I yeah, I'm an outsider. I'm not. I'm. It's fine. Five is the well. number you're gonna need. <laughs> It would have been really funny if you were the virgin, though. <laughs> it would have been. I just realised I'm like permanent soldier for at least the next two or three weeks, right? No demon's ever going to kill me in the night. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> that is not enough. Brockwell's safe for the day. Except when they want to sell the Star Pass world. 
Of course, yeah. <laughs> no, you were just a fangu that jumped. <laughs> a final call. Doc will nominate Lydris. Tell me why. Uh, Lydris has said that he's willing to be thrown on the sword. His top four. Um, I think we need to uh, have care for the uh, Undertaker Careness Kindness Project. So, just in case there is an Undertaker out there. Lydris. Yeah, if there's an Undertaker, I'm happy to be confirmed as top four. Five will be the number you need. I feel like the game is too small to be killing top fours. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. However, it's an even odd number, so I don't Five want to know one. Is enough. Yeah. I'd like to nominate Dak. All right, and Roxy, tell me why. Um, let's for once believe that everybody's told me the truth, because um, that's funny. Um, I've only got three spaces where a demon could be. We've already nominated Lorinda um, for the sake of giving him one more day. <laughs> so, um, and I have reason to believe the other gap is cleared, so that just leaves that. Dak, how do you feel about that? Uh, definitely not the demon. Uh, I have hard claim to, to one person on the scrim. Um, sorry, Roxy, it wasn't you. I didn't get a chance to talk to you a bit. You're going to need five to tie, six to die. Three is not enough. Final call, closing it in 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Lydris <laughs> is executed and dies. Go to sleep. Who's getting hit with the juice? Purely because they claimed a bluff at me and assuming Lorinda is probably something powerful. So let's actually go with Lorinda for now. Thank you. Who are you murdering? Uh, the risk of probably being confirmed by outside account later on. Can I kill Brockwell, please? All right, Brockwell it is. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. Howdy. You're still getting a zero. Alrighty. Thank you kindly. You're welcome. Hello. I'm going to wake you up and show you the drunk token. Ooh. Okay. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Let's do it. Good morning, everybody. Brockwell died in the night. Interesting choice. Luinda oh. genuinely thought it was a fangu game. <laughs> <laughs> so, bad. not too bad. Um, you were top four, or what were you? Um, I, unless you're the Undertaker, I'm not going to say just yet. Okay. Um, but I, what I will tell you is you were in one of my things. Okay. 
uh, I will tell you, you were the drunk. Ah, uh, okay. I was librarian. This whole drunk between you and Brendan. Okay. Yep. Makes sense. You were, you were the drunk. I am the undertaker, so... Okay. Good to know. Um, uh, I suspected that might be the case. Uh, yeah. The only other person that I've told this is Brockwell. Um, okay. Brockwell told me that they were the butler. So that puts both of the outsiders right there in the corner. So if anybody else yeah. is claiming outsider, I wouldn't believe them. I okay. actually trust Brockwell. That's game. So yeah, fair enough. Uh, James gave me Undertaker Monk, so I'm going to assume he's and <laughs> Lorinda, Well, and Lorinda gave me Monk. So yeah, Lorinda's Monk. actually give me a different claim, and he did tell me he was going to claim Monk to everyone else. Okay. So okay. I fair I enough. have Lorinda's original claim. Okay. Okay, but I did want to get with you right away. So. Yeah, no, uh, appreciate it. Uh, All right, good. sounds All right. good. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah, the fact that they aren't pointing out that Dak could just be the drunk here is... It's not wrong, but at the same time, it's... They got to take that into account. Key, how are you? Yeah, not too bad. Got myself killed nice and early, so that's always good. I mean, I fairly trust you, so I'm just going to tell you the truth. I've been lying to most of the people, to be fair. I'm the chef with a one. You're the chef with a one. Okay. Good to know. Yeah, uh, I can't actually people claim stuff like Slayer, Mare, Fortune Teller. Yeah. Just to, if I get killed in the night, but... No, fair enough. Um, sounds reasonable. I will keep that under my hat. Um, yeah. Uh, but sounds good. Yeah, I've had a few random claims. Um, I know Lorinda is double claiming someone, but they've told me their proper claim, allegedly. Um, and they told me that they were going to claim what they've been double claiming to everyone else, so I'm not too worried about that at the moment. That's fair. Um, Have you been seen by an Undertaker at all? I will confirm that at the end of the day. Yeah, that's fair. Totally fair. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. All right. Cheers. Thank you. Um, okay. Cool. Is, have you heard of any other outsiders? Uh, no, notably. So, I mean, it's always possible I'm the drunk. I wouldn't really have any way of knowing. Yeah, true. Uh, what were you in that case, James? Um, I mean, if you've spoken to Lorinda, you may well know anyway. Uh, I'm the monk who Lorinda claimed monk to, and so I immediately pivoted to being the right. Raven Keeper. So. Right, okay. <laughs> <laughs> immediately pivoted to tell him I was the Raven Keeper. <laughs> okay, um, I've heard of a potential Slayer that might shoot at the Rinda today. I wouldn't be sad about that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, cool. Well, they have, they have claimed the other sort of death prevention role. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, the Rinda, he could be, he could be the team again. Which, yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, who, who, who did you choose last night, then? Uh, I chose Roxy. Cool. Um... Based off the hard claim she gave me, it wouldn't be worth doing, I don't think. No, I guess not. Unless... I had somebody ask me in the app if I was sleeping the other day. I'm like, no, I'm here. I'm here. <laughs> uh, Brent will claim Slayer and shoot Lorinda. Oh, I have enough choice, please. Uh, scented candle. Scented candle. Ooh, it smells so good that when you light it, it just... You don't feel like firing anymore. It's just, you want to keep it for yourself. There's no effect. Other than a calming, soothing one on yourself. <laughs> Any more? Bring it. <laughs> well, if you want that, George will climb Slayer and shoot Lorinda. Lorin oh, weapon of choice. You. Uh, I'm going to steal some someone else's, and I'm going to say I'm going to force him to run naked through a field of thorns and death for a thousand cuts. Excellent. As they are running through, it more so tickles than anything else because, well, they just they do die, but it's only of laughter, and they really don't die. They just keel over and roll on the ground hilariously, <laughs> clutching at their stomach. Showed you. Nominations are open. Roxy nominates Roxy. 
And tell me why. Um, because I'm about to be framed by the evil team. So let's get this off the table. There is a fortune teller yes on me, um, but based on the other information that exists out there, I think two people are working together. So I'm happy to die to get rid of this world immediately. Anything else, Roxy? I'm the mayor. It's up to you what you want to do. <laughs> Excellent. All right. Roxy is claimed to be framed, so let's look at this photograph as we go around. <laughs> look at this photograph. And they are welcome for the earworm. We've got six months this way. Uh, at least, yeah. <laughs> One is not enough. Roxy, save for the day. What the hell is on Joey's head? Well, I could get into that, but I've got a game to run. <laughs> <laughs> Second call. Crimson nominates Brendan. All right, let's go. Why? Um, with some information I've heard from a couple of players, this may—I haven't spoken to Brendan, so don't necessarily know—but Brendan may be evil with this information, and I'm just worth having this nomination to see what might occur from this what the defense might be are you evil bo evil uh i do not know what this information is is pointing at me uh i am good i'm uh the spent slayer so i mean i don't think it's a good idea to kill uh people that are okay with dying but i am okay to die all right you will I, need I, I, I four <laughs> <laughs> well, like, like, Roxy, like Roxy said, like we killed Lyvers on day one, and it's just like it's it's yeah. a small enough game that we should probably shouldn't be doing this on people that are happy to um, die, and I am happy to die. I think it's probably the other way, Ben. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that is not enough. Brendan, safe for the day. Final <laughs> call. I mean, the nominates Crimson. Lorenda, tell us about it. Um, they seem to sort of be trying to quietly get somebody killed there, and that's so. Like, demonic behavior so let's, let's kill somebody crimson that's fair um i do have a piece of information backing me up which is why i did that i don't want to out the person because they haven't outed their role publicly um at least not to everybody um obviously i wouldn't be the worst killer i'm not evil but i'd i mean and i'd rather go after evil pings uh do i out it because otherwise i can't nominate again um yeah i'm the chef with a one you're going to need four. So we are supposed to have two outsiders, uh, and I have one claim. Is there somebody else who is openly claimed outsider that I'm missing? There is definitely a drunk in the game. Mm, okay. That also Ooh. is not enough. Closing it in 10 so, seconds. George will nominate James. George nominates James. Well, let's talk about that, George. Um sort of revenge for game one uh, <laughs> uh, and secondly uh, I whilst I'm not sure I entirely trust my information he is the other side of the yes if we weren't prepared to go for Roxy let's see if you're prepared to go for James and James you know what time it is I do uh, yeah I don't mind this um, I still quite like to kill Lorinda I was about to nominate them when George nominated me because when last I heard they're still claiming my role but you know if you want to do this go for it if I'm in a fortune teller yes I really don't mind you need four. Four is enough. James is marked for execution. Closing the day in 10 seconds. James nominates Lorinda. Tell me why. Uh, claiming my role to my face and, you know, demon panic. Lorinda. Um, Lydris has my true claim. You can speak to Lydris tomorrow, and it, my claim to you will make sense. Four to tie, five to die. Lorinda is safe for the day, closing it in ten. Five, 
four, three, two, one. James is executed and dies. Go to sleep. Who dies? Um. Let's go for Dak, please. All right, Dak, it is. Thank you. Thank you. It's a good kill. Hello, Brendan. You get a zero. Ooh, hooray. I think I'm the drunk in the librarian's thing. Thank you. You're welcome. Was in my pings, yes. Okay, so you're not necessarily the drunk. Yeah, could be the yeah. mistakes of drunk themselves. It could be, yeah. Good morning, town. A Dak died tonight. I was the Undertaker, so. And did, uh, and you saw Lydris as librarian, I saw, No, I saw Lydris as the drunk. Oh, okay. So either you're the drunk or he's the drunk. Yeah, I saw I saw Dackel Brendan as the drunk. All right, I'm the I'm the empath who's gotten straight zeros, inclu including now on George and Roxy. <clears throat> So I could, I, I mean, I think it's just got to be Lorinda again, right? I, yeah. Cause if, cause if Dak saw Lydra says the drunk, that means I cannot be the drunk, right? Yeah, that's correct. Uh, sure, unless there's a voice in there. Before it even starts is there are a lot of information roles in this town and I'm not claiming yeah. information. Yeah. Is, is there a world where Dak was poisoned when he saw Lydris as the drunk and Brendan is still actually the drunk. That's the only world, yeah. That's just about possible, but um, yeah. I'm not saying yeah, I don't know. Yeah. No, no, yeah, but, you, but you're right. It's good yeah. It's good to have that out there that yeah. that is possible. <coughs> or I mean, there is another is world where, Cri where Crimson's just a Scarlet Woman who's picked it up and that's why he's changing his number. Trying to put sus on his own number again now. Uh, yeah. but, I mean, no, potentially... I from, from James? The the only yeah. problem for Crimson's number is there um there's only like I'm getting a sh I'm getting a zero and there and like that leaves Lorinda and Crimson as the Chef One if there is a true Chef One with both evils alive. Or me and George, I guess, but uh <sighs> Uh Brendan who had the Empath Zero. Uh, Lorinda, who claimed monk, so I was like, for the love of God, don't protect me. So, <laughs> either I've effectively outed to a demon. Oh, I also did the same with James, who was the other monk. So, I I do have a valid... I think the James stuff, that knowing he's got a Scarlet Woman catch, works with Cr Crimson, potentially. Mm. Uh, Empath Zero works nicely as a... Scarlet Woman, potentially. Get your neighbors to trust you. Yeah, true. About the other thing, time, I, is, I am actually happy to go for a mail win, I think. Yeah, well, I did get that hard claim from Roxy day one, so I, I'm yeah. inclined to believe her at this point. She's quite a classic Roxy Crimson Woman bluff as well. Scarlet Woman bluff. Yeah, that works. But yeah. Okay. Lots of lots of worlds for the fact we've got lots of worlds executions yeah. left, which is a bit worrying. Yeah. But... <laughs> Indeed. All right. Cool. All right. Well, cheers. No, it's logical. I'm just saying that we we have a lot of info rolls. I'm not claiming one, and if there's nothing actually pointing at me, doing it by elimination means oh. we're using somebody's information that is eliminating people. That exactly. Uh, I uh, I say at this point I will out the I am not the fortune teller. Uh, I am your town's raven keeper. I don't believe any of you would have believe me if I died tonight I'm going into final three 
Uh, so I'm getting myself out there now. If you want to get me gone, feel free. Welcome back to town. I will give you no time. Nominations are open. <laughs> I mean, we use part of that information to potentially push on James and Roxy. I'm not liking that. <laughs> I hate that. That's what I'm telling you <laughs> now. So you've got don't, two don't kills. I love it when you add my claim, George, to be honest. Yeah. To be oh. fair, I just had that conversation with George and I did get a bit of a sus vibe. And I'm <laughs> wondering if Brendan's now retracted or gone to Empath to try and push it I, on the other I, side of the room, basically. No, no. I mean, I, I, could, I could still be the drunk in the fringe world where Dak was poisoned and saw uh, Lydris incorrectly. Um, but... Second call. I'd like to nominate George, please. Yeah, go for it. Tell me why. I think it's just been discussed by the sounds of it as apparently pivoted into James's role as well. George. <laughs> I, I, as I outed, if you want to kill me, kill me. You need three. Is there any reason why the chef one couldn't be just George and Brandon? Absolutely. Kind of there's, there's, no, there's no reason why it couldn't be. It's literally the world I'm in. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Four is enough. George is marked for execution. Final call. Yeah, it's either the it's either the chef one is George and me, or the chef one is not real. Hmm. Yeah. Is is there that that option that the chef number is just a bluff? I, I that's that's basically those are the two worlds. I think that it's not possible that it's anything else. Be James with Roxy a Scarlet Woman, could be James with Crimson a Scarlet Woman, could be many different ones. Closing the day in 10 seconds. It could be James and me as Scarlet Woman. <laughs> could be. Five, four, three, two, one. George is executed and dies. Congratulations, go to sleep. <laughs> Congratulations, you have nine minutes. Who dies? Amazing. Hopefully this goes through. If it doesn't, I've probably lost. Um, let's try and kill Roxy, please. All right, Roxy, it is. Fingers crossed. See you later. <laughs> I think I'm putting it through. Why not? Yeah, I'm putting it through for balance purposes. <laughs> It's not a matter of deserves here. It's a matter of what's best for the balance of the game. I think the balance is that there's three demon and prospects alive. And Brendan's going to get a new number here. So it's going to be hilarious. Hello, I'm giving you a one. Oh, that is so shocking. Enjoy. Thank you. I saw you, right? And the empath. Fake empath. Like, Good empath. morning, town. It? Roxy died in the night. Yes. <laughs> Aww. You have, <laughs> you have two minutes. I, ha I got a one. So, what, there, there's, there's at least one evil dead. <laughs> and, at least, I, <laughs> <laughs> unless Brendan's evil. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, we can't go for a mayor win now, so great. <laughs> I mean, let's be fair. Is there a world where it isn't Brendan? What, what other worlds are there? The, the world that's real. The world, that's, the world where you're lying. The world where it's me and James. I think I'm, 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 I'm looking at I'm looking at my token, which is a big blue heart. Yeah, I, I would I would like to make it clear that I've wanted to kill Lorinda since day one. <laughs> 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 you, 
called it again, Marinda. I mean, Brendan. I've, I've never been either before. I don't know what you mean. I have never been either in this game. The character is as blue as my hair. Oh my word. That's what you need to do. You need to have your wife dye your hair blue, and then you'll start pulling my tokens away. <laughs> it's, a, it's a hard I mean, way to find out your red blue color blind. I, I was going to say, yeah, 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 yeah. color blind, mate. At this point, I just want to kill Narinda for the memes. Yeah. <laughs> Very true. I, yeah. On the same way. I mean, I think it could be Crimson going for a, a, a like an out of the box chef play, or maybe what is the Crimson other evidence pointing at Brendan. What is the other evidence pointing at Brendan? Did there is no evidence know? pointing at me. It's it's the absence of evidence I mean, pointing against yeah. me. <laughs> I mean, all I have is obviously Brendan was in my drunk ping. Um, the but... only evidence I think. Is the chef one in the fact that we're not trusting George? Why did Roxy die? To not make it easy for us. <laughs> How dare you meta me? <laughs> Nominations are open. <laughs> Do we actually have your real claim, Lorinda? Since apparently you're still on that double claim. I'm the soldier. Which is, if you're Lorinda, the most useless role you can get in top ten. Yeah, I, I'm then just in the night I'm evil all the time. It could be a Chef 1 with... Uh, Crimson's Chef 1 could be genuine with it being James Lorinda. Or it could be J uh, Crimson is lying and Crimson is caught a star pass or has been in the demon the whole time. Or I'm evil. Could also be Crimson telling the truth that there is a Chef 1 and it's Crimson and Lorinda. <laughs> yeah, I'll yeah. see. But I got a, I got an Empath 1 last night, so... Yeah. One of them's the poisoner, and you were poisoned. One of one of, yeah, one one of them's the yeah. poisoner, which is actually how. Oh no, yeah. You All right. So in the world where Brendan's telling the truth, who was the other evil? No idea, because I got two new neighbors last night. There's only one minion in this game, anyway. Yeah. No, but it should be a, it should be a two, right? If, 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 if there's two if, alive, yeah. Well, but if, if, alive, if yeah. it's a. But if it's so a was poisoner, Brock, well, it's poison. Well, like Brent, Unless Brent, Brent, who's, who's your own one in the world the where you're telling the truth? Brock, Brockwell's confirmed by outside account. Sorry? Who, who is the other evil in your game in the world where you... I don't I time? don't solve this way. Um, <laughs> so, it could be... So, I think... I mean, obviously, with it being a chef, uh, an empath one, we have killed an evil player. So, who has been executed that fits that i mean because uh, or or it's potentially a star pass too james so james that's that's what I'm, I'm, I'm looking yeah. at james which would mean that it's lorinda yeah. second call lorinda nominates brendan tell us about it um i, I think town gen generally thinks it's brendan or me um i'm not sure i trust crimson but that Empath defense doesn't work for me. Uh, the chef one points to George and Brendan. Uh, the zero doesn't make sense. I don't think there's any poisoning going on. So I think I think it's Brendan. I think quite adds up. Brendan. Uh, based on my info, I trust that either Crimson or Lorinda is good. So I plan to nominate Crimson to complete the Dorito. You're going to need two to put Brendan on the block. Um, this is sort of pertinent. When I told Brendan that I was the butler, Brendan went, oh, bummer. Yeah, that was, I, because I like the butler. <laughs> I thought I was so tough. I, I thought you were so, like, oh, No, 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 I no, no, I, I like the butler, that's why. Four is enough, Brendan is slated for execution. Brendan nominates Crimson. All right, tell me why. Uh, this is giving Crimson the option to nominate Lorinda to complete the Dorito. I, I, I genuinely believe that one of them is good based on my info. Crimson. That is fair. I mean, with James not voting on that, we're thinking James is a potential minion. I feel like we have the right person on the block, but I understand the, the Dorito and giving people the opportunity. So if you want to kill me thinking I'm a demon, that's fine. Well, not fine because we lose. Um, <laughs> But, you know, I can't really sway anybody else's mind at this point. I've given out my information, so. Four to tie, five to put Crimson on the block. Just in case my vote is swaying anybody, I will only be voting on Lorinda today. I have wanted them dead since day one. I don't care <laughs> if I'm wrong, that's where my vote's gone. <laughs> like, is this like the thing the other day, James? I'm voting for the Mar- I'm Crimson nominating the doesn't Demon nominate for the Lorinda, then it's just, that's, the, that's your chef one. <laughs> <laughs> That no, is not enough. 
Crimson nominates Lorinda. All right, Crimson, let's hear it. Uh, last nomination of the game gives people a chance if they don't think it's Brendan to think about the fact that it could be Lorinda as well. I mean, <laughs> at this point, we either go for it or we don't. Um, I'm going to be the first vote on this, so if people want to say how they're feeling beforehand, <laughs> that might be useful, but obviously we'll let Lorinda have defense first. Lorinda. I claim soldier or monk all game, and um, socially, I, I know, are you going to say this if, if I was lying anyway, but I would not be able to resist sinking a kill at some point during that game if you're making those claims. You need four to tie, five to put Lorinda on the block. Oh, I mean, the the, op the argument to vote here, Crimson, is don't tie it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, well, yep, that's that's, okay. a, that's a surefire way to lose is if we tie it, yeah. 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 All right, that is not enough. With that, Brendan is executed and Good dies. <laughs> Did we get no votes on the demon? All that, right, is it you got exactly uh, no let's votes on the demon. do this. Um, let's go I ahead and start with. Uh, let's start with. Uh, let's start with lighters. Lighters was your drunk. They saw the librarian token and were told that there was a drunk between either Dak or Brendan. Dak was your undertaker. Got sober information while they were alive. Brendan was your empath. Also received sober information while they were alive. Brockwell was your other outsider. They were the butler. Let's go to uh, let's go to George. George was the Raven Keeper who you decided to mark during the day. Roxy was the mayor. James. James was your poisoner. The day that they were the day that they were killed, Deck would have gotten silver information on them. So you killed Brendan. The question is, was Lorinda evil? The correct answer is Lorinda finally drew a blue token. It was crimson, guys. The bluffs were fortune teller, chef, and a monk. And that was your game of trouble brewing. GG. I, 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 I called it. All right, everybody. I, 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 say didn't, vote say I didn't vote on it, but I called it. Say goodbye to chat, everybody. Cheers. Goodbye to chat. Bye. Bye. See you guys. All right, that concludes your Gen Con stream of Blood on the Clock Tower. Stick around. We have the Pandemonium Institute running the official stream right now. Head on over to the Pandemonium Institute and check out what they're doing today. Until next time, please be careful 